Does the story end or never end? Does the secret fade or is it everlasting? Hey guys, it's Andrew Keenan Bolger and you are watching my vlog Forever 17. For the past eight weeks, you have followed my journey with the Broadway musical Tuck Everlasting from tech rehearsals to previews to opening night. And now it is with heavy heart that I have to say goodbye, not only to this video blog, but to the Broadway musical Tuck Everlasting. I really know how to write a series finale, apparently. Of course, I was so sad when I heard the news. The show is so beautiful and so many people spent so many years getting the show to Broadway. But on the day that we posted our closing notice, a friend sent me an email with a quote from Dr. Seuss, of all people, that I think really put things nicely in perspective. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And I think that sums up my experience with the show perfectly. You know, I got to originate a lead role on Broadway and work with a cast and creative team that I have been such a huge fan of before I even knew that I wanted to do this professionally. And honestly, every minute that I spent on this show was a good one. You know, people always say that Broadway shows are like a family, and it's really true, but my favorite part of Tuck Everlasting is my family within the family. The Tuck boys, my love, Andrew Keenan Bolger and Bob Lindsay and Michael Park, who plays my husband. I will miss you guys so much. As I get ready to do my last couple of shows, I think uh, what I keep thinking about, what I'm most grateful for, is that I got my very own song in a Broadway show. Uh, and to say that that is a dream of mine is shortchanging just what it really means. A really awesome memory was opening night back in Atlanta for the world premiere is when I met Natalie Babbitt for the first time and she signed um, the Tuck Everlasting book and that was a really dream come true. Many people say that she has this sparkle in her eye and she really does. It's this little twinkle that's in her eye and it just lights up your day and she's the nicest person ever and I think that was a really awesome moment for me. My everlasting memory is my very first day arriving to the Broadhurst Theater. I'll never forget it was Wednesday, April 14th and I had my first music rehearsal at two o'clock and the whole cast was rehearsing on stage and I remember thinking like, this is real, it's happening. And I would say my first, my like everlasting memory would be uh, our first day at like in the theater, like inside the space, kind of just like touring the theater and getting to see like our dressing room for the first time. I am just so grateful that I got to be a part of this show because the story is so beautiful and um, it's, it's amazing to do a show that means something and that is artistic and sentimental and magical. So I'm just grateful that it happened. My favorite Tuck Everlasting memory is probably the first time I went on as Mario. Sorry, bye. Uh, goodbye! My favorite Tuck Everlasting memory is on the first day of rehearsal when Brooklyn spilled her water bottle. <laughs> and that was very funny because she, I was like, it's okay, it's okay. But if it were now, I would have been like, Brooklyn! <laughs> Goodbye! And my favorite Tuck Everlasting memory was on the first day of rehearsals and meeting everyone in the cast. Hello! Hi! Vlog. And Hi, vlog. Goodbye, vlog. Goodbye, vlog. Last chapter of the vlog? Last chapter. Yep. Ooh. Moving out. It's been good. It's, it's been, been great. Real. Yeah. Um, you gonna miss it? Yeah. You're yeah. gonna miss this sofa. I spent a lot of quality time on this sofa. Yeah, it's sofa... King good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our final chance to get a Saturday intermission picture for Tuck Everlasting. So we decided, in true fashion, we are going to do the Tuck family. Now no longer Everlasting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm coming down. So, Perfect. Being a swing, it's become, I've become the cruise director backstage. Um, I'm the person who gets the playbills taken care of, signed, so if you get one, you're welcome. Um, also, I am the resident crafty person. This is the tree that I gave Jess Golden for opening night. Well, these are actually from the set, and Walt Spangler gave us all leaves from the actual tree, and so I hung them up. So the best memories have been backstage for me, because that's where I've spent most of my time. In the midst of my pin curling, I'm reminded how much I've enjoyed this dressing room and all the lovely young ladies I've been privileged enough to share it with. Well, I look really great right now. 
Um, I think what I'm gonna miss the most is all the fun I have backstage. That starts from when I give the cue to the prop guys of when they need to take off the car, even though they have a light for it, but I feel the need to like really help them along. To me and Jen Smith's freestyling for Top of the World. Oh my goodness, Tuck Everlasting will be my most memorable show of my entire career. I have um, soaked up every note, every performance, including the great Andrew Keenan Bolger all the time, like stalker crazy soaking. It's been seven years since we started this, and it's been a, a total ride. It's been great. I'm gonna miss everyone. I'm gonna miss all the people. I'm gonna miss doing the show. I'm gonna miss Casey, who's like an incredible fearless leader. And I'm really thankful that we got to do it. I'm thankful we got to make it to Broadway and, you know, finish it, its run at the pinnacle there. And I don't know, Andrew, buddy, I hope we like still talk and hang out because I love you. And um, guys, just don't forget that Team Hugo can still exist in the world. You don't have to, you don't have to forget. originated Winnie Foster and Tucker Everlasting on Broadway. It's just beyond a dream come true and I'm really gonna miss it, but I'm never going to forget it. So before the curtain falls on our final performance, we are going to take a family photo with all of the people who have made Tuck Everlasting on Broadway happen. So thank you guys for taking this trip with me. I hope I was able to give a little bit of an uh, inside look at what it's like to mount a new Broadway musical. And I hope that you come and support myself and the rest of my Tuck cast in whatever show that we have the privilege of being a part of next. There are two ways home, down one long road, one clear path to two conclusions. Does the story end or never end? Does the secret fade? Or is it everlasting? Is it everlasting?